Hi, Scott Whitley here. Hope you're doing well and welcome to this brand new bass lesson. First of all, apologies if you can hear the air conditioning fan whizzing away. Uh, if I turn it off, it's way too hot in here today. And that's in the UK, believe it or not. So anyway, I'm breaking things up a bit this week and I'm going to give you um, a slap bass lick to work on. All right, so this is one for you slappers like me. And um, this is like number seven in the slap bass lick library. Okay, this one is a 70s disco kind of vibe. So I'm going for that kind of like... That kind of funk, 70s funk, P bass kind of thing. Let me try and play the lick for you. I say try because I'm not sure if you can remember what I just did. Here we go. So that's it that's the uh that's the lick um like i say that very kind of 70s funk kind of vibe going on it's over um it's over a minor and and like a d minor i believe yeah so um or like a minor seventh and d minor seventh so uh let's get into it it's, it's actually warming up by the second in here it's um i'm in my bass cabin the log cabin and as the sun comes round when it reaches the windows at the front and it's like game over you know and it's reaching that point so let's get into it uh before i melt um so the the first thing is let's check tuning uh because as i say it is warming up in here so um my tuning could drift a wee bit so if you check yours at the same time you're probably way ahead of me actually on that one um okay uh, the first thing we do is uh, an A, uh, and I'm doing it in a fretted position on, on the E string, so fifth fret on the E string, uh, that allows me to do a nice slide like this. So I'm, I'm obviously slapping that as well. Um, okay, so so you just basically fret the fifth fifth fret um, on there, uh, and like it's up to you how you finger this. I'm not adopting that nice one finger per fret thing right now you know i'm kind of just grabbing the i'm keeping as much control as i can over everything um so i'm just um like i say fretting that note and then boom and that's it you just stop everything okay so you can even put your hand on the strings here if you like um and then we play this i'll give you the notes it's g a c g a fret that's third fret on the e string fifth fret on the e string third fret on the a string third fret on the e string again and then fifth fret okay let me see if I can zoom in on that for you what's this all about shorts <laughs> apologies for that here we go And keep that last A nice and short as well, okay? Okay, so the first section sounds like this very slowly. And I'll, I'll do this in a loop in a second with the drum machine. So we've got... Okay, so let me get um, a drum rhythm together for you. Or for us. It's not just for you, it's for me as well. Um, just kind of uh, the, the pattern I put down on, on the backing track. The backing track is available for download, by the way, in the description below. I should have said that immediately. Um, it's just something I threw together before the lesson. I haven't done that kind of thing for a while. I really enjoyed it. Um, here we go. So that's just like a straight kind of rock thing. Um, anything like that. Let, yeah, that'll do, actually. And I'm going to bring the tempo down. 
doom, doom, doom. Right, that's 70. So if you want to play along, here we go. One, two, three, four. Then these are all slapped, all right? I'm actually muting that note, that last one. Yeah. Sorry. If I was to play another note like this. Right. It, that's where I'm muting it. I'm sort of muting instead of playing a, a note on that beat. So it's like. Mute. Okay? Three, four. Mute. Two. Mute. <laughs> Two, three, four. Mute. Two, three, four. All right. So that's the first section. Uh, then there's a little pause, and then uh, we do two pulls. So we do a pull on the fifth fret on the D string, which is a G, and you hammer that on two frets up to the seventh fret. So that's fifth fret on the D string, hammered on to the seventh fret, okay? So that's a, a G to an A. And then we do the same on the A string, so fifth fret on the A string hammered on to the seventh fret which is an E so that's a D to um, an E now I'm thinking of those notes in 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 A in like A minor and over an A minor seventh right I'm thinking that as, as a flat seven which it is to the octave and then a four to a five really really common kind of funk uh, the, the you know they're in the uh, the minor pentatonic scale etc you know those kind of notes, alright, so, alright, let me show you where those fit, okay, one, two, three, four, alright, uh, let me just double check myself, Yeah, yeah, they do. So there's that little pause and then the, the two pulls. Let's do those in a loop, okay? Bearing in mind, uh, after you've done the pulls, um, that the next A slide comes straight in almost, all right? So let's try it like that. Um, see how we go. Uh, one, two, three. in a loop Okay, so that's the first section of it. So just practice that um, until you got that comfortable. So the next part we're going to play involves a few hammer-ons. And the reason is it just makes the whole thing smoother and easier to play. Let me play it for you. Okay, so that's what it sounds like. Uh, I'm going to play it with the drums uh, kind of about you know, 114 BPM, doesn't matter. One, two. 
All right. And the reason we're playing those hammer-ons is if I try to do that without hammer-ons, just slapping each note, it's 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 doable. But for me, it's it doesn't feel smooth. It feels slightly uncontrollable. Okay, or out of control. Um, so let's drop this right back in tempo to 50 BPM. Before I actually put the drums on and we play along together, let me break it down for you. We start with um, a, a G, the third fret on the E string. And then you, you, you slap that and then you hammer it on to the A, which is the fifth fret on the E string. All right, so one slap, two notes. And then we do a double, and this is the only kind of, when I say double, it's like two sixteenth notes next to each other. And this is the only one that we do because we're util utilizing hammer-ons, okay? So, once again, slap the G, hammer onto the A, and then slap two Cs, third fret on the A string. Alright, so you get... And then here's the trick, we're going to slap, uh, sorry, we're going to hammer on the A again, which is the fifth fret on the E string, uh, without even slapping it at all. So you get this, right? You get... Alright, so that note was completely slapped. Uh, hammered on. Ah! <laughs> Alright. And then we finish off with a G, slap that, and an A. If you want, you can do another hammer on there. You can slap the G and hammer on the A. So you'll just have to see how you get on um, as the tempo builds up. And that's the thing, it's as the tempo builds up. At this speed, it's not much of an issue to slap each note. But believe me, as you speed up, um, unless you, you're like superhuman, I think you'll get, you know, um, you'll struggle to slap each note comfortably. I think. I do, anyway. So here we go. Um... One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One. Two. One, two. One more time. One, two. All right. The next thing we play after that is a D. Just a, a sustained D, uh, which is nice, nice and easy. Um, so that comes straight after this lick, and that's why you might want to do a hammer on at the end of that. So let me let me show you how that works. All right, one, two. One, two. So it comes in straight. All right, so at speed, you might want to do... So hammer that on, then you can just get your thumb ready for the D. So just see whatever works, okay? Uh, I'm pretty sure at the full tempo I'm not doing the hammer on, um, but I, I, I could be wrong, all right? So so just putting that that in there in case I'm, I'm lying. I don't think I am. No, I'm slapping it, yeah. Um, so uh, the next bit, you've got that long D sustained. And then we do a similar lick to this, except we switch the last two notes around. So the last two notes, instead of being G and A, they're C, C and A. You know, like the clothes retailer. Uh, so that second lick in its entirety is... So let me show you that, how it works, going from the first one to the second one. Here we go. One, two. Let me...
me just check that at double speed. Um, it's one of those odd things where the pause felt incredibly long there. So let me just see. Hang on. A one, two. Yeah, yeah, so I think we were right there. Um, let me just take that tempo back to 50. Uh, one more time. So, after two. One, two. Two, three, four. One, two. And another D. Okay, so so that is um, that's that entire kind of section with the hammer-ons. Let's try and stitch it all together. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. got so far okay so let's try the whole thing one more time uh, from the beginning so far here we go one two three four Try it one more time. A one, two, three, four. So that's the thing so far. Uh, the only thing we have to add now are three kind of pull and hammer on features, which are from the fourth fret on the G string to the fifth, from the fifth fret to the seventh fret on the D string, the fifth fret to the seventh fret on the A string, and then we just do um, a pull on the C and then the whole thing starts again. All right, so let me play that one more time. And notes wise, that's like a, a two to a minor third. All right, that's a sev flat seven to the octave, four to the five and a minor third there. All right, now let me just get my head around the rhythm for this at full tempo. Um, So let me slow that down. OK, 
Okay, so that's every part of the uh, of, of the leg. We're just going to start um, from the top and see if we can stitch it together. Okay, uh, here we go. One, two, three, four. Then the whole thing kind of repeats okay so take your time with a drum machine or if you want to just kind of like rewind uh, a little bit and, and have another go uh, until you get got that up to tempo and then just build it up like five or ten BPM at a time take your time um, so that you keep it accurate and funky and precise uh, and then eventually you'll hopefully build up to the speed of or somewhere near the the, the backing track so um, I'll just play it one more time, if I can, with the backing track. This is going to feel quite fast, I would have thought, um, because we're just kind of jumping from like 60 BPM to 130. Um, hopefully I can still do it at this speed. Here we go. So that's the, that's the thing, like I say, again, full speed. And don't forget that backing track is available for download in the description below. So that's it for this lesson. A um, little bit of news um, for this week. On Thursday at 2 p.m. UK time, I'm doing another live Q&A. So it's like an hour of Q&A. Uh, so get your questions ready. Please tune in. Um, it's going to be fun. It was fun last week, and lovely to see some of um, some of my subscribers that uh, you know have, have been following me a long time. That's that was wonderful. Um, on Saturday, I don't know which I'm more excited about. Actually, um, it's our live streaming gig here from the base cabin. Um, it's me and my wife Janet Whitley. We go out. Well, we're not going out anyway. We 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 are presenting ourselves as dynamics, um, and we're a duo. We're going to use uh, plenty of backing tracks and uh, play some funky disco stuff. So there's a lot of bass fun going down as well. Uh, we've got three special guests appearing on the show uh, via the internet, so that you know we're not breaking any um, social distancing rules. Don't worry about that. Uh, but that's worth tuning into, if nothing else. Uh, so it's like an over an hour and a half of live entertainment on Saturday night, UK time, 9pm, so that's 2nd of May. So thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and click the bell icon in the corner down there uh, so you get notified whenever I make a new video. Thanks, as always, for your support and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.